Hi, this is Sonal. I'm an artist and founder of the Painbrush Art Community, and I welcome you all on the first episode of Cafe Arte. Well, the Painbrush Art Community, I would like to talk about it first. It is an initiative to promote artists from different parts of the world of different genres, and we promote them through arts and exhibitions. And we are very fortunate that all our art exhibitions that we had to do online because of COVID have been very successful and reached many places in the world. And we have got many international claims and accolades for that. But the biggest thing is that we won the trust and love of our artists, and that is our treasure. Cafe Arte is one such initiative by the Bainbridge Art Community, and today is our first episode with our wonderful artist, Prabhita Rajesh. Prabhita Rajesh, today we will uh, explore her world and explore the world from her pers perspective. And uh, she's also the winner of Around the World Art Competition. So, Prabhita Rajesh, welcome Prabhita, how are you? Hi Sonal, thank you. Thank you for a uh, wonderful opportunity to be here with you. Congratulations for winning the art competition. We all love your art and your presence. Thank you so much. That's the encouragement very, that makes yes, us want to do very more. Unique. That's very nice. So we'll begin. So what is Prabhita as an artist? How do you describe yourself as an artist? Um, for me, art is all about being happy. You know, among it's to do what I love to do in spite of what's happening around me. I still have to make time to do it. So that's what makes me a better person, a better mother, a better, uh, you know, in my career, better in my family. So this is what I, I uh, make the time and the effort to do this, you know. This is your happy place. Yes, this is my happy place. And uh, you are also an architect by profession. So how do you balance your profession, your art and your home at the same time? Uh, yeah, uh, I am I'm a full-time uh, architect. I'm working in a company, in, uh, in a consulting firm in charge. Full-time job as a senior project architect. Um, and yes, two small children. So the family is already, uh, it's my full time. My entire time is taken up there. But yeah, like I said before, I need to do art to be happy and to do well in both these, um, you know, other dif different roles in my life. So I make the time by, um, see, I, I don't think I can, I have to wait till my retirement or I can't wait till then, you know, to do art. I have to do it today. So um, I, I work late nights. I work early in the mornings. I, but I make time. I make You have time. to still moment. You have I have to, to I have to do this. Yeah, just to do this for myself. That's nice. And what makes your art unique? What do you think is the speciality of your art? Um, the thing is, I don't follow any particular uh, genre or, you know, I don't um, uh, have any particular styles which I follow. Realistic is my, it's my thing. I like portraits. I like to bring the essence in people. I mean, this is what I, I really like to do. But other than that, I don't have any issues trying out different mediums, trying out different um, methods. So maybe this is what makes it uh, different. That's nice. So we want to know about your journey as an artist. So you can tell us how did it uh, put an impact on you when you were a child? How were you as a child and what influence art had on you at that time? Um, actually, the earliest that I can remember is maybe when I was around eight years old, um, sitting around with my friends. I, I was living here in the UAE all my life. So we lived in a, uh, an apartment building. So when the other children in our building, they played with their cycles and their skipping ropes and everything. This was my play. I would bring my brushes and paints and everything, sit on the steps and paint. And after a while, all of them would keep their bikes aside and they would also join me and they would, you know, that was like the whole, um, I think art would, was contagious, you know, they would, they would all just come and sit along. And then after that, we would stick the entire corridors with all the artwork that we had done for the day and, you know, uh, that's, that's the earliest memory that I have. 
then yes in school i was a very quiet child but then uh, the um, uh, you know the um, the school magazine the, there was some teachers who saw that even though i was very quiet that i was very interested in art so then i went into a lot of these school magazines and things like that so i think that's where i i became more confident about my art so then you started I, prabita rajesh art community at that time <laughs> Maybe I'm not sure. Yeah, but my friends still remember this. You know, they don't remember like my childhood friends. How much friends still day to day, and they all remember that me also. You know, that the sitting on the steps and playing around while with paints while they played around and us doing it together. So I think this made an impact in their lives as well. Maybe that's how art is. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And who has been your inspiration since the beginning? First inspiration. who inspired you to become an artist um i would say um i think my mom used to do a lot of art or at least she was good in drawing and painting and things like that but i would like to answer this in a little bit different way because over the years the inspiration has changed or has been different you know it has been growing in a different way of course it always starts with our family and our friends um they um they are the ones who encourage us and their happiness wants us to do more you know that's how it encourages us and inspires us to do more then uh other than this when i see the works of other artists as a child my dad used to take me to all the sharjah biennial every two years there was an art exhibition here in sharjah and organized by the sheikh you know i managed i had seen emma fusain in that time you know because he had come here and uh it was really inspiring to see other people works and arts and you know so um i would say the audience in me the the viewer in me inspires me when i see somebody else's artwork i feel inspired i feel like i can also I, it gives me some sort of a positive energy to do to do art again and so then it has, hmm. it yeah, has been in your life from the beginning right yes 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 and then recently you know i've seen the impact of my own art in different fields like for example about a year ago there was an uh, auction where a couple of my paintings were auctioned off for to raise funds for children in um, the jalila foundation so this was really inspiring you know like i never thought that my work could bring about something like this for somebody needy and uh, similarly very recently i worked with uh, some doctors to do uh, the illustrations for their medical world medical journal so now this is something which i never thought our kind of art could be related you know like my fine arts could be related to something like that where doctors would uh, or you know the the medical professionals would actually be referring and uh, you know they would find they would study our our illustrations you know so that's that is something true. which really pushes my limits to try these new things that's yeah these really are the inspirations let's say you know over the years which has so um yes so and from the art world of uae from this art circuit who is your inspiration at present mm. right now i i think our rough vibe would be like really inspira- inspirational to me i i i really admire his works and then there are people like yourselves and then there's farah khan you know you are inspiring these uh, younger or the uh, the the artists who are amateurs or who are not trained artists but still they love to do art but you are giving them a platform so these are the things which really make us look up to you know people like you because that you really change that you know change the game let's say because earlier it was just about huge art galleries who would charge a lot of money and you had to be artistically trained as in you need to have a qualification in fine arts or a degree in fine arts for them to even consider you you know but um like working with you guys you know it, it kind of gives you the confidence to to put your limits and to do good work and you after when, when you really uh, like for example our around the world i mean that's when i even found out like uh, the the likes of peter gressman you know uh, the our um, art critic i was so blown away with his um, his comments about my art or you know like we are not trained or we are not studied fine arts or but the way he he uh, the things that he saw out of our art so that was something which really uh, you know like i was really really uh, happy let's say 
And these words from you are the words that motivate us to do better. And thanks a lot for all this acknowledgement. It really means a lot and it's a treasure for me. So now we can start with our rapid fire round. So whatever I ask you, you can answer in just one word. Okay. Are you ready for that, Prabhita? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll say one word and you will answer in one word. Right? Okay. Abstract art. Cubism. Curly hair. Uh, Prabhita Rajesh. <laughs> Comfort food. Chocolates. Profession. Um, architect. Okay. Bollywood or Hollywood? Bollywood. And last, Rajesh. Uh, my world. And smile. <laughs> so now there are some more questions you can answer briefly. Um, so if you had any superpower, which one would you like to have and why? Um, I would like, I wish I could learn technology. You know, that is something which is way beyond me. <laughs> I can do a lot of things, but technology is way beyond me. Learning new COVID software. Made I'm wired in a different us, way. Sorry? COVID made us learn all the technologies already. Yeah, Any but you know, new softwares, softwares I'm talking about, which, uh, you know, which uh, some people, they, they just get it very quickly. But for me, no, it's something which I need to really struggle and learn to, to master it. Not social media. I'm not talking about social media handles. I'm talking about uh, softwares, you know, or technology. If something goes off, the power goes off, do I have no idea what to do? Like an assistant to Iron Man? Uh, yeah, like my mom, my daughter just called me uh, superwoman today, you know, super super mom today, because I had seen some, I had had a sticker lying around, so she got took it and she says that you know, and she even came and stuck it here because I'm wearing blue today, so she said, okay, no, this really matches with this uh, the color. All mom, yes, we moms are super moms. Yes, we do hundred things sure. at one time. Yes, yes, and uh, so tell me, do you love music? Uh, yes, I love music, listen to music, but I can't sing to save my life. <laughs> okay, so if you, could choose, if you could choose one song to play every time you walked into a room for the rest of your life, which song would it be and why? I like this song. Um... Do Love Hai, Dil Ki Kahani, that one, I really like that. Those because soothing songs, classic. Yes, uh, yes I, I like the classic songs, the Hollywood classic songs. And this is one of my favorites. Um, maybe because life is really about two minutes and a few minutes, so we have to make the most of it. Uh, we can't wait till, till whenever. You know, whenever when we retire or when we cannot make time, we cannot wait till then. We have to do everything today. So uh, that that's maybe that's the thing. I I like that song very much, and you know, we need to Can do you it. Sing to one time. line of it for us and for the viewers. No, really, Let's I'm see, Prabhita is a singer also today. Or any other song that you love, if you could sing one sentence of or one line of it or two lines, maybe. I know you can, because you dance. You do modeling, you are an artist, you're an architect. I'm sure you're also a singer. No. Yes, I'm sure. Maybe. You have a very good voice. Why not? Let people see a different Prabhita today. They only know you as an artist. Okay. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, 
Okay, thank you. Lovely. See, you have a, such a good voice. Next time, we would like you to sing for the event also. Okay, so now imagine that you are a color. You are one color. Uh, which color would you like to be and why? I like the crayon. The crayon. I like bright colors. I like yellow very much. I love yellow. Why? Mm, it's such a happy color, you know. It just lifts my mood. Uh, the bright sun shiny makes you smile. Actually, my house, the walls are also <laughs> painted in yellow. <laughs> wow. I love it too. Sunshine color. Yes. Color of hope. Yes. Okay. Tell me the craziest thing you have done lately. Lately, um, I know some, but you tell me. Easiest thing. I don't know. Maybe this is all, you know, everything that I do maybe has some amount of craziness. What about that beach photo shoot? I wouldn't call that a crazy thing because it's actually a gift for him, you know. Okay, to fun. Do. You can replace it with fun that you enjoyed the most. Okay, yeah, I enjoyed the most. I would maybe recently, especially in the COVID times, maybe this could be this beach event itself. So it was my friend's birthday and we've been best friends since childhood. And um, since we haven't been seeing each other for a long time, I thought, you know, the best gift for her birthday would be the gift of time. And then we just decided to wear our similar saris and go and get ourselves pictures clicked. But it was really her husband's idea to go onto the beach and get it clicked. And we looked, we were looking for a beach all the way from Sharjah, an empty beach because it's COVID and we cannot stay in a crowded beach. So we, ha we went all the way to Umal Queen and finally, even the Umal Queen beach was so crowded, we got like a 15 centimeter gap where there was nobody in the water behind us. <laughs> and my friend's husband, he clicked our pictures and really, it was really a lot of fun because it's, you know, it looked like, you know, everybody on the beach was in, were in their beach wear. They were dust, where they were full of sand and water and everything. And all, both of us were dressed up in saris and our mom cars and everything. <laughs> we looked like some officer coming down and everybody had, was standstill, you know, looking at us. And stuck. we, yeah, stuck. And we pretend like this is every day, you know, like this is how we go to the beach every day. <laughs> and good fun. Absolutely. Yes. And also your New Year video that I've seen when you all, all of you were dancing in the, some park or somewhere. Ah, yes. The yes. video that you put, yes. Yeah, on the song Jerusalem. Actually, that's such yes. a positive song, you know. It's about, it was a dance challenge world over. So some friends got together and we just, it was early in the morning at 6.30, we, we, we reached the park. It was freezing cold, but a lot of fun. Nice. Yes. That's really good. I love your circle. That is so much uh, full of energy and fun. And so are you. So what talents you possess apart from an artist that would, you would like to share with us? Talents? Um... I, I like to uh, dance, like you said. I like to, and I like to interact with children more than me dancing. I like to teach children to dance, and I like to get them to perform and organize it with them and for them. So we have some circles and some friends, some groups that we have, in which I do this as well. Uh, you know. Um, other than this. I, I, I want yeah, to mention I, one. I want to mention one that was so beautiful that you did with your daughter for Retro Revival. When you danced with your daughter and everybody loved it. It was so beautiful and so heartwarming. I want you to say something about it. Yeah, that was really last minute that day because you, you mentioned something about singing and you know now that I'm a very bad singer. <laughs> no, you're so, not. <laughs> So dancing is something I can do, but then I you know that was the first event I was participating with you. So I was also not sure whether, you know, whether it would be accepted or not. So I told my daughter, let's try together, you know. So I would also be in my, uh, feel happy about it, that she's also participating. And she loves to do these things as well, with me especially. Like we, we do a lot of uh, dances together, you know, mom-daughter pair. So that's how that came about. It was just like 
one minute i think was your timeline so we just put it together two for one minute and uh, yeah it was good fun she also enjoyed it a lot so that makes me happy too and yes okay. you guys enjoyed it so it was so beautiful when I mean, she is so cute and so adorable and she did it with so much love for everybody we all loved it so much so what message you would like to give to the budding artists who have just started in this field um yeah i would say learn more you know not 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 you don't need to go if if you're if this not your field if it's not your um, thing don't need to go in for a professional course like a degree or a, you know but learn more in terms of um uh, watching videos doing workshops with uh established artists and now it is so easy actually you know on instagram you can connect with a lot of people on uh, the other um, uh, uh the other platforms you have a lot of people who actually uh, are there you have your one day workshops your two day workshops people are doing live videos so watch all these you get a lot of information you can actually grow and improve yourself as an artist just by looking at all these uh the different uh videos and things which is available easily available these days and then really don't wait for time to come to you because time will never come you know you need to make the time you have to make the time you need to find your time you get up early in the morning or late nights or setting aside with your you know set up a time with your family so that you can do these things on the side but make the time because otherwise time is never going to come to you you have to do everything and you need to do everything actually that's my Yes, you have to steal time, Prabhita. Yes, because we as moms, we are moms first, and then we are everything else. So we yes. have to steal time. Yes. Yes. So today, I want you to show some of your favorite artworks to us and the viewers. Okay. Um, a couple of artworks. I will not. Which one would you like to show? Yes. And actually, like I told before, I'm a portrait person. I love to do portraits. I love to do people. and the uh, the life in their eyes i love to bring all this together so this is something which i done in a long uh, about couple of years ago this is my friend it was for her wedding uh her name is hisan she used to work with me she's from iraq and uh, this was uh, a picture which you know i had done this was in oils actually oil painting you know so the wheel and the uh, the expression and everything yeah, i love the expressions love it Yeah. yeah and she is a very beautiful lady as well so you know and this she's a very special friend so yeah yeah i was yes uh, i love to do something like this and then um a plate i was very close to your heart yes absolutely actually i went for the wedding itself in bahrain so that was my first time away from my family on a trip it was a one day trip but still the first time i went alone anywhere without them you know <laughs> so that was good fun too and uh, of late i've been getting into a lot of mixed media working with uh, sand and sand art and uh, other stuff also stones and uh, plastic and wood and you know so this is a uh, uh, artwork which i had done for one of our exhibitions also which i just played this Love is the you. this is the my box. favorite yes yes your favorite uh this one is the bob marley and um uh it's done in sand different colors of sand and glitter so i'm not sure if you can see the glitter or the shine yes i think you can see a little yes 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 very beautiful this golden background and golden and blue is a beautiful combination yes yes actually you know with sand you never know that's how it will turn out you know this is the thing and that's i think that is the whole whole beauty your sand of art is something beautiful sand art prabhi that is it makes your art so unique because mostly people use acrylic and watercolor or oil but the sand art is very unique that you do and even yes, last time when you put that uh, use those seashells in sand art that beach it was so good yes actually it it adds some sort of character to it you know that's the way with mixed media i guess how to you know it's it's very interesting i find it very interesting actually to work with these different materials and especially the so natural you use materials. everything uh, so natural materials like you sand you use everything that comes across you are using yeah tell me okay okay you are using everything that comes across you the seashells or the plastic or anything that comes across you are using it in the artwork 
Uh, yeah, I, I've used a lot of um, what you just said, you know, sand. I collect sand from the beaches. Uh, also, nowadays, a lot of colored sand is available itself in the uh, stationeries. And then the shells and the stones, plastic, of course. I've, I've used a lot of all these. Tiles, old tiles, beads, you know, are... Uh, it is very unique. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's interesting, actually. And I like to do realistic things out of it. That is like I told you, realistic is my art. So, so I, I, I try, you know, for me, everything ends up being somehow realistic. I, how, even if I try being the start off with being abstract, it ends up in that realistic track somehow. So, but yeah, that's... I that's, connect with you on this. Sorry? I connect with you on this. Yeah. Even I love realistic art. Yes. Using lots of colors and glitters and everything. Because it uh, it attracts me more. Abstract, I don't understand much because... Uh, but I love realistic art and your sand art is something I am so fond of. Yes, actually. And uh, we are so mm -hmm. happy that, yes, we have you with us for so many art events. Last two, three art events you have been with us. And also in the next upcoming event, we are so glad that you are participating. So it was so good talking to you. And uh, we will look forward for another masterpiece from you for Brave. And um, so now to tell you all, Brave is our next art event, art exhibition coming up on March 25th, 2021 at 7 p.m. And Prabhita will be there with us with her another masterpiece. And let's see what she makes. Let's see what bravery is from her perspective. And uh, it was really nice having you with us, Prabhita. You are so dazzling and full of energy and positivity. You're always a pleasure to be with. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Sonal. Thank you very much for having me. And uh, really, it's been a pleasure to work with you on also on all these events. And uh, you inspired me also to do a lot. Last, last time I wasn't planning to do this and art. And then eventually I'm here because of that particular thing itself, you know, that particular piece of art itself, the Kenyan piece. Uh, but that is so unique. Yes, it was. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to, like I told you, you know, it's gone to its forever home. So. Yes, it's, it's, it's a very that special. Masai, that Masai yes, that you made yes, was yes. so, so good. Usually my piece, my artworks usually have a message with it. You know, I try to say, like, I art is also used to say, speak a message or to bring about a message. So this is what I wanted to do with, uh, always with my artworks, especially the ones that I put up for any uh, exhibitions. I usually mm -hmm. try to say a message, give out a point of view or you know, try to speak with it as well. So with yes. our world, with our art uh, gives a voice to an artist. Absolutely, yes. And art is heart. <laughs> that is my tagline always. <laughs> yes. You always, you can do art only from your heart. And a true artist is always a, has a beautiful heart. And just like you, Prabhita, you're such a, such a pleasure to be with and to talk to and and full of positivity and we wish you all the best may you keep shining may you keep rocking and may you keep inspiring thank, thank you, so, you much so much for the show. see you for yes see you on thank brave you. on 25th march thank you okay. thank you everyone thank you okay thank, thank you, thank you so time. much for being with us everybody thank you for joining us that was the first episode i hope you all liked it thank you so much good night bye bye good night bye bye, bye, -bye. Yes.